So I figured it was time to upgrade because I had this wonderful piece from Harbor Freight and that's exactly what it is. It's a piece. So I decided to upgrade just a little bit. If you guys got any questions about the build or any of the parts that I used, just drop a comment below, ask me and I'll get back to you guys on that. So here's the build process and then after that I'll show you guys how to paint this hood, I guess. Maybe. I mean, it's already got one coat on there. And it's seriously like five or six months after I built this thing. It's been a while. But what can you do, you know? closer this is one year in the making I cut up all this piping last year exactly one year and four days ago I think so yeah soldered up. This is going to be the connection for the air hose that runs the air compressor. This is going to be the regulator side and the uh, three valves which I'll screw on in a minute. Throw some Teflon on those.
So the only part of my air system that wasn't copper was basically this nipple that came out of the compressor and ran into the ball valve. And I was basically going to put this elbow on there and then go to the ball valve here until I saw the inside of this pipe. Keep in mind that's only a year. And this is why you don't use steel for your lines. So it would have been nice if it worked, but it didn't. So I got to change one part of the design. I wanted to use these high flow couplers and it seems like if they're not perfectly straight, they leak. When I built this, I thought that I would solve the issue drilling these two holes and having the hose kind of rest against there, but that doesn't really seem to work. All right, so here is the finished product. So I end up changing the angle of this, and it actually uh, it works very well. Also, I end up putting a regulator here. After it was built, this guy leaked. 
So I got that figured out. Then that guy leaked. I put this cheap Harbor Freight one on there and I haven't had any problems since. But uh, yeah, after all that and I got all that finished up, then the welds on this freaking thing broke. So uh, yeah, you'll probably see a video about that at some point. So that's fixed now. So the question is what's gonna break next? I'm gonna tell you right now, the Curse Marrow. Yeah, I'll put money on that one. So if you guys want more videos like this, click the subscribe button right there and there might be some kind of video to watch up here or up here or even down here.